<clears throat> hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, Coach Castle here, and I can uh, talk today. Um, it does hurt to talk for a while, so I don't know when I'll be starting to make lengthy videos again, but I thought today I'd make a quick video uh, just about the quads. Now, the reason for this is I'm at the end of my workout, I just did legs, and I remembered I've been talking about making this video for a little while. Uh, I get a lot of people ask me, best way to train the quads, uh, I don't have a sissy squat machine, you always talk about doing the sissy squat coach, um, uh, so what else would you recommend basically? Well, I recommend a couple exercises for the quads, as usual, um, just depending how you look at it, they're all basically the same exercise. It's just a different version or a different variation, basically loading the quad less or loading the quad more, uh, just by changing your center of mass, basically. Uh, but long story short, the sissy squat is the best quad movement. The reason you don't see professional bodybuilders doing it is because, uh, A, either they're too weak to do it, so they can't actually do enough to be within the hypertrophy zone, so 20 to 30 reps close to failure. Uh, they just don't want to be seen doing it because it doesn't look like a hard movement because there's no three or 400 pounds of load on their shoulders, even though it's loading their quads considerably more. Uh, they're, they're driven by their ego, these people. They don't understand basic physics or math. So uh, just a, a health update for you guys. Um, on top of being able to talk again, I can kind of sort of chew soft food, so that's nice. Uh, but my weight is unfortunately, <laughs> it was 181 this morning. I think that's, that's mostly water weight, unfortunately. So for, forgive me for looking a little scrawny today. It is what it is. And of course, this weight reduction has made my leg workout interesting today uh, because I used to be able to do about, give or take, 30 of these sissy squats in a row, uh, the first version I'll be showing you. And today I was able to do 54. And it's just because of the low difference for me losing so much weight this past month because of my, my teeth and jaw. Uh, but anyways, let's just uh, go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you guys a couple different versions uh, that you guys can do anywhere, literally. So... Let's see here. The first version I'll show you, all you need is a wall or a chair or something. You just grab the wall with one hand, knees forward, heels up, and always lead with the pelvis. So basically keeping a straight line from the knee to the elbow. And you're attempting to get your torso and upper leg parallel with the ground at the conclusion of the movement. So it looks like this. And of course, you can assist yourself with your hand. And of course, when you stand up, you lead with the pelvis first. So as you can see, that's one version. Helpful to alternate sides, by the way. So do like one set here, one set the other side if you're using a wall. You can also use a chair or a couch, whatever. These are highly efficient movements, just so you know. But again, you won't see bodybuilders doing them for the previously stated mentioned. Now, Another one not even requiring anything. You see my feet? Okay. Something like this, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed outwards. It's the same exact movement, except you're gonna be reaching for the ground with your hand and then popping back up without the assistance of a wall. So it looks like this. Same thing, just no wall assistance. Try to have your, your hand land directly between your feet so you make a nice stable triangle. Another version, if you guys have it, is just a sissy squat machine. Now, I quite like this one because it really allows you to easily control the load. But you just step in. The force is coming out here through the front of my, uh, the top of my foot, rather, in the shin. This basically isn't doing anything besides keeping my upper leg in place. And then the active lever in my upper leg and the load for my torso goes down all the way through the right range of motion. But again, you can see the leg is folded and the force is being pushed here. And again, I reverse it, trying to lead with the pelvis. Leaning forward more, it's less load on the quads. Leaning back more, it's more load on the quads. And that's how you would control the load. And another version I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen is just the uh, pendulum squat. Now you can do this just with two handles. 
or with a harness for your torso or with a harness for just your waist, like a weightlifting belt with a, with a strap attached to it to the wall. Depending where you put it on the wall, the handles are basically what the angle of the cable is at will depend on the resistance curve. It's actually pretty easy to tell in this case because your body's operating like a pendulum. You can almost physically see the resistance curve and how it interacts with the quads. Well, all this is your arms are loose, ropes, torso stays loose, it's the same movement. Knees go forward, heels come up, your head is right next to the ground, and then you just reverse it. The only difference is your arms are very loose, just ropes, kind of connecting to your upper shoulder. Where you put your feet closer or further away determines how difficult it is. The further back I stand, so if I start from the standing position, this is a lot harder than if I was to put my feet in here and do it like this. So that's how you'd be modifying it. Now, of course, there are other exercises you can do, like leg extensions. Those are very effective. Uh, I would just urge you to check out the cam on the machine. You can also just do uh, regular old squats that are heel elevated, although it's not as good. Uh, you'll also be getting your quads. And um, for the people who, who want to know, by the way, I've answered this a couple of times. <laughs> eh, the reason my mouth is purple is I just got some antibacterial uh, stuff in there, guys. But anyway, so that's quads. I did just want to keep it short today because it you know, kind of hurts. But that's quads, guys. Uh, next time I'll do another muscle group, whatever you guys think, uh, put it in the comments and I'll show you how to do it with body weight and stuff and whatnot. But uh, that's it for the day. And I hope that this was uh, helpful, everybody. Have a great day.